So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will, in the next few minutes, try to take you through uh, in a career of pediatrics. And talking about pediatrics, for whom is pediatrics? It's for people who love challenges, those who want to enjoy a career helping the well-being of children. Uh, it's actually a very, very rewarding job. So if you have the passion for treating and looking after sick children, and you're willing to commit yourself to deliver compassionate, holistic care, then I think you're the person that we are looking for. So just to take you through, what are the eligibility criteria for you to enter a postgraduate training program in pediatrics? Like for any other program, you need to have a medical degree that is registered with the Sri Lanka Medical Council. There has to be completion of internship and also a completion of one year of post-internship. According to the current prospectors, we expect trainees entering to complete six months of continuous experience or training in either pediatrics or in a subspecialty of pediatrics. But what is exciting for the others is that there is a prospectus revision that is being considered. And we are trying to open up doors for young doctors who do not have experience in pediatrics to attempt pediatric selection exams. However, if you do, if when this comes into effect, if you are selected, then you will have an additional period of first on call duties while you are training in the program. So uh, if you take our selection exam, we have two examinations in a given calendar year, and we could take up to 24 trainees if the trainees are eligible. So that's like 48 trainees coming into training every year. So the selection exam has two components. We have a theory component and OSCE component. And the theory component consists of 30 MCQs and 30 uh, single best answer questions. For you to qualify from the theory component, you need to score more than 50 marks in each component. The OSCE has 15 stations, including five live stations, and you need to score more than 50 for you to qualify. So having done that, if you enter the training program, our training program, is a very exciting one. It's a three years duration, the local training, and the, it will give you exposure to all aspects of pediatrics and child health. Stage one of training is one year, and this focuses mainly on general pediatrics at a teaching hospital, where we will also give you some exposure into pediatric ICU and preliminary care units. The second year consists of six months of neonatology, and another six months of general pediatric training in a peripheral hospital. And the third year, of course, consists of training in the different subspecialities, which I'll be talking in a short while, and also nine months of general pediatric training at the Lady Ridgeway Hospital in Colombo. A trainee who comes into the program is, uh, it's mandatory for you to undertake a research study because this becomes important for your board certification. So how does your part two go once you've completed your mandatory training? A part two is a fairly comprehensive exam. It has a theory component with four components, structured essay, case histories, data, and an OSPI. And if you are successful at this theory component, then you move on to your clinical examination. The clinicals consist of a long case, and there is a nine station circuit for SACS, which mainly uh, emphasizes on clinical examination of different system and to detect physical uh, examination findings, communication, etc. So if you are successful at the part two examination, then you move into your post training. So your subsequent career uh, in pediatrics will depend on the performance of your part two examination. Because at present, once you have passed the post, uh, the MD part two, we give about 30 to 35% of general pediatric vacancies, about 30 to 35% of the 
trainees will have to go in for neonatology and intensive care. And another 30 to 35% will go into the different pediatric subspecialties. So in the pediatric subspecialties, we do offer endocrinology, neurology, pediatric nephrology, cardiology, community pediatrics, and clinical genetics. So depending on your merit position in the MD part two, you will then of course have the opportunity of deciding what you want to do. So basically like in any other merit list, the ones at the top will be able to do what they would want to, but ones at the bottom, unfortunately will have to do with what is remaining of a given list. What is interesting is that in the near future, the Board of Study in Pediatrics is thinking of introducing new subspecialties, gastroenterology, pediatric rheumatology, and clinical hematology. Hopefully, this will be down the pipeline in the next year or so. Our local training will depend on the chosen subspecialty, and it is usually about one and a half to two years. And once you have completed your local training, you can undertake your overseas training, which is a mandatory requirement. And again, the duration will depend on the specialty you have chosen. We expect you to train in recognized centers of excellence and our trainees currently patronize the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and India. The training in UK is facilitated by the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health. So having done that, if you have completed all components, that will enable you to be board certified as a specialist in pediatrics. So how do, you, how do I say that you should uh, embark on your journey? First of all, as I said previously, you need to have a liking towards pediatrics. You need to believe yourself that you are capable of passing the selection exam. So in order to achieve that, Continue to learn from your patients, improve your clinical and communication skills, and to be able to sail through the selection exam, you need to reinforce your theory knowledge. We recommend the Nelson's textbook of pediatrics and Paul Farnell textbook in pediatrics uh, as references. There are preparatory MCQ courses. There's one conducted by the Sri Lanka College of Pediatricians. And of course, there are many other online sites where MCQ courses are available. So if you are planning to take on a career in pediatrics, this is how I think you should gear yourself. For those who are willing to join our specialty, we warmly welcome you. And to all others, let me conclude by wishing you all the very best. And may I also take the opportunity to thank the SLMA for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much.